In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 places to visit in Italy. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Few places rank as high on traveler's bucket lists as Italy. Whatever your taste in travel, you'll satisfy it in this country that is at once exotic and familiar. History, art, food, music, architecture, culture, sacred sites, charming villages, and stunning scenery are all around, and in an atmosphere that only the most confirmed curmudgeon could fail to enjoy. Number 10. Rome. Both for its history as the capital of much of ancient Europe, and for its present-day role as one of Europe's most vibrant cities, for most tourists traveling to Italy, Rome heads the list of places to visit. Relics of its ancient glories, the Colosseum, the Forum, the Pantheon, the Appian Way, and the Palatine Hill vie with the vast riches of the Vatican as the top attractions. But between the important sites like the Sistine Chapel and Michelangelo's Pieta, take time to enjoy the city itself. Relax in the Bordi's Gardens, eat gelato on the Spanish Steps, explore the narrow streets of Trastevere, sip morning cappuccino in cafes, window shop on the Via Veneto, and toss a coin in Trevi Fountain, so you can return again and again. It will take several trips to see it all. Number 9. Florence. The showcase of the Italian Renaissance, Florence can at times seem like one giant art museum. The Duomo, the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, is a landmark of world architecture, topped by its gravity-defying massive dome. Together with its marble inlaid bell tower by Giotto and the octagonal baptistry with its incomparable bronze doors by Ghiberti, this is one of the world's finest ensembles of Renaissance art. Half a dozen art museums brim with paintings and sculptures, while more masterpieces decorate its churches and palaces. Before you overdose on art in the Uffizi Gallery and Pitti Palace, stroll through the Boboli Gardens and explore the artisans' studios and workshops of the Ultrano, or shop for leather in Santa Croce. Number 8. Venice. Who could fail to love a city whose streets are made of water, whose buses are boats, and where the songs of gondoliers linger in the air? It is a magic city, and its major attraction to tourists is the city itself. Taking a gondola ride is one of the most romantic things to do in Italy. Gondolas congregate at the end of the plaza in the Grand Canal. In the other direction, a gate under the clock tower leads into a warren of narrow, winding passageways where you're sure to get lost on the way to Rialto Bridge. But getting lost is one of the greatest pleasures of Venice, where a postcard scene awaits around each corner. Number 7. Tuscan Hill Towns the undulating landscape of Tuscany is crowned by stone towns whose foundations go back to the Etruscans. Each sits atop a hill, and many still have the castles and towers that once defended their commanding positions. It's difficult to choose one above the others, as each has its own architecture, art, character, and story to tell, fairly bristling with towers and enclosed in walls that are largely intact. Volterra was an important Etruscan center before the Romans came and still has remains of both civilizations today. The tourist attractions of Arezzo are the legacy of the many artists, architects, and poets who lived there. Like Volterra, Wald Cortona was an Etruscan settlement and later a Roman one, but adds reminders of its Florentine past as well. Cortona is one of Italy's oldest towns. The proximity of these hill towns to the cities of Florence, Siena, Pisa, and Lucca fills Tuscany with a concentration of many of the best places to visit in Italy. Number 6. Milan. Although Milan is a major entry point for tourists because of its airport, it's often overlooked as a destination of its own. That's a shame because Milan has one of the highest concentrations of artistic and architectural attractions in all Italy, and for those interested in design and fashion, not to mention shopping, it's a must. The Duomo, Milan's massive cathedral, is among the world's most magnificent churches and finest example of the flamboyant Gothic style. La Scala is the world's most prestigious opera house, Da Vinci's The Last Supper fills the wall at a monastery, and throughout the city are museums and palaces filled with some of the world's finest art, and no fashionista can resist a stroll through the famed Quadrilatero. Number 5. Lake Como. Italy's most beautiful lake, 
Como has been the favorite summer retreat of the rich and famous since ancient Romans fled Milan's summer heat to cool off in villas along its steep shores. Later villas decorate its tightly clustered towns, especially pretty Bellagio, artfully set on a point where the three narrow arms of the lake meet. A microclimate makes the western shore of Lake Como temperate even in winter, so the white peaks of the Alps just to the north can be viewed between palm trees and camellias. Don't overlook the town of Como on the southern shore, well worth a stop before boarding a steamer to explore the lake. Number 4. Amalfi Coast. The high, precipitous Amalfi Peninsula juts sharply into the Mediterranean just south of Naples, forming the southern rim of Naples Bay. It's hard to imagine a more beautiful, or unlikely, setting for the towns that spill down its steep slopes. Streets in most of these picturesque towns are stairways, and houses seem glued to the cliffs behind them. Flowers bloom everywhere, and below the towns are enticing beaches caught in coves of emerald water. The Amalfi Drive along the southern coast is one of the world's great scenic routes, or you can see the coast from the water by taking a 45-minute ferry ride from Sorrento to Positano. You have several options for getting to Positano from Rome. Number 3. Capri and Sorrento. The fabled Isle of Capri rises in steep cliffs from the Tyrrhenian Sea, only 20 kilometers from Sorrento. It was the bolt hole for the Roman emperors Augustus and Tiberius, and today attracts a steady stream of tourists arriving on the frequent ferries and hydrofoils from Sorrento and Naples. Although very small, it is barely six kilometers at its longest. It has two towns, Capri and High above it, Anna Capri. The lower town is where to find smart shops and cafes full of people watchers hoping to spot a celebrity. Anna Capri is the site of the lovely Villa San Michel and its gardens. Like Capri, the charming town of Sorrento seems to have been created for pleasure. The views, framed by candy-colored buildings and lemon trees, take in Naples and its bay, Mitte Vesuvius, and Capri. It's a town for strolling, sitting in cafes, and taking day trips to Capri, the Malfi Coast, or Pompeii and Herculaneum. Number 2. The Cinque Terre. The five towns that cling to the steep, rocky Mediterranean coast north of La Spezia were almost impossible to reach by land until the railway connected them by tunneling through the headlands that separate them. Although hiking the trail is the goal of most tourists, don't overlook the pleasures of lingering in these little villages. Rio Maggiore and Vernassa, with their narrow streets dropping down to tiny rock-bound harbors are the most filled with character, and despite its recent popularity with tourists, the Cinque Terre remains one of Italy's most appealing attractions. Number 1. Pisa and Lucca. The nearby towns of Pisa and Lucca are worth visiting while you're in Tuscany, the first for the exceptional Campo di Miracoli complex, and the other for its endearing charms. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, actually the campanile for the adjacent cathedral, is a well-known Italian icon and forms the centerpiece of a UNESCO World Heritage Site that also includes the cathedral, baptistery, and Campo Santo. The highlight of the impressive baptistery is Nicola Pisano's intricately carved freestanding pulpit, a masterpiece of Romanesque sculpture. Completing the ensemble is a museum displaying some of the most beautiful gold and silver work of the Middle Ages and Renaissance. Nearby, Lucca is one of Europe's most charming towns to explore and enjoy, surrounded by wide walls whose top is a tree-lined park. Inside the walls are beautiful Romanesque and Tuscan Gothic churches, tower houses, one of which you can climb to the top, and a Roman arena that has been fossilized into an oval piazza. So this is our today's video. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or hit the bell icon. We will meet again with another interesting topic. Till then, stay safe and stay happy.